Hey everybody, so welcome to Luca. This apartment is right in the middle of the Centro Storico, the historic district here in Luca. Now, every time I do a video in Luca, everyone says, wow, that apartment was awesome, but man, it's really expensive. Luca has gotten expensive. The apartment is 200 square meters, that's 2,150 square feet. The apartment has a big living room, two and a half baths, a kitchen, an outdoor eating area and a light well, and five big rooms that you could use as bedrooms or whatever you think of. So let's go see what 600,000 euros asking price gets us. Well, welcome guys. We are in the heart of Luca, in the Centro Storico. There's Olivia. Hello. And we're in a very old apartment. And as always, look at these beams. Just love the beams. So this is a five bedroom or drawing room or office. Depends how you want to chop it up. But there's five main rooms plus two bathrooms. Plus this pretty good size living room. I mean, this is good size, eh? One of the most interesting features of this place, besides the crazy floors, and I want to get you guys a little more detail. I've, I've, I've been asking you what you like in the videos and what you want to see, and people say they want to see a lot of detail. So this floor is very old. Of course, it's never possible to know the exact age on things, but we do know that the fresco work that they uncovered in here is from sometime in the early 1800s. But you can see all the detailing. It's pretty amazing, all the detailing. Yeah. And this is a very nice sized room. Yeah, I love the window. Yeah, I'll get over there. Everyone's been telling me to pan slower oh. <laughs> in comments. Not everyone, like three people out of hundreds and hundreds of comments. So here's your slow pan. And then I get comments that say, could you speed things up? We don't have all day. <laughs> so Oli wants to see the window. I think it brings a lot of light. Yeah, it does. It's a good size window. Always hard to tell sizing in these videos, but that window's about, oh, it's just shy maybe of five and a half feet tall. So that's about 1.3 meters, maybe a little over a meter wide. And I want to point out another thing that people said was they wanted more time spent on things like mechanical. So this is radiant heat. It's run by hot water. Very old school, but this was all redone 18 years ago. So you can see up here at the top how they've punched right through the wall and they've used exposed copper piping, maybe partially because of the frescoes in the walls and also because it would have been a huge job trying to bury all this tubing. It feeds this and that's what provides the heat. And it's actually very efficient. We have it in all our palace apartments in Montepulciano. So this is only one of five rooms. I think I would make three bedrooms and make a couple nice dining rooms, but let's yeah. go see which one. This is a nice big one. I would use this as a bedroom for sure. So this is number two. Well, you know, the frescoes on this one are pretty nice. Yeah. Look at this, guys. Get in close. Slow pan. Somebody's going to be sorry they asked for slower pans. You know, I think I would do the dining room here. Yeah. Because I love, because they have the fireplace. fireplace. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. 
and we'll get to where the kitchen's at, but it's, it's just off of this room. So again, nice big window, radiant heat, plenty of light. Oh yeah. Nice to have the lights still on. <laughs> Italian selling houses, turning off the electricity. It's so common. It's a pretty good size living room. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I love the beams. Now we think the overall age here is somewhere north of more than 350 years old. Hey ben, could you go open up the an actual closet? Oh wow. Yeah, come on. There it is. A closet you can walk in. Somebody will be really happy. Like you? You'd be really happy. All right, let's go. So much more to see. Now, obviously, this place needs some reworking. And we can talk about that in detail in a second. A bathroom? So a full bath, first thing I would rework. I have PTSD from a big fall I took two years ago next week. I do not like standing in tubs. I would rather have a walk-in shower. And this one would be a, almost two meters and you could probably come out 80 or 90 centimeters, uh, so about six feet by three feet, and you could have a nice walk-in shower, maybe with a double head. Love shower. Need some updating on the fixtures. The washing machine. I mean, the toilet has to be at least 30 to 40 years old. But that's easy to fix, easy to change. I would do a quick remodel of this whole bathroom. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, and I know this is going to piss off a lot of people, but there's so many different floors going on. If I was going to take this and if I was going to turn this into a really nice upscale place, I would come in and do my hand chip travertine. And people, I'm not talking about travertine like you see in your 1970s bank. I'm talking about natural stone travertine. It's not expensive and it's gorgeous. It's what we put in our Borati big 2000 square foot, 200 square meter more or less apartment. And it just makes it look so phenomenal. I'll try to reach up and show you some detail. You know, it's funny, uh, uh, 20, 30, 40% of the paint is missing, but you still get the idea. Yeah. And I'm guessing that somebody put these clouds. Sorry, here. <laughs> these clouds. They didn't look like clouds the other way. So this is a, a nice size room. Yeah. I would do a bedroom in here. Yeah. Like a guest bedroom. Yeah. Can you pop? Mm, don't pop the window. We'll pop one later. Hey guys, it's Brad. And Oli. Sorry for interrupting the video, but I wanted to put a couple educational things in here real quick. If you want to get right back to the tour, just go to this timestamp right here. So two things. One, we're walking on top of the wall and people are riding bicycles. There was a little like a road race going on. And the wall inside Luca, in Luca, separates the Centro Storico, the old town, which is over here, with the newer town that's outside the wall. And things that are inside the wall tend to be at least two times as expensive, if not more, than things that are outside the wall. Why? Because of tourists. Because Luca has well over a million tourists a year. And so people want to stay inside the wall. They want everything close at hand. They want the feeling of being inside the Centro Storico, the oldest buildings and stuff. So it really drives up the prices. So the property that you're in the middle of doing a tour of is inside the wall. And that's why it's the price that it's at. If it was outside the wall, it'd be about half. But what happens, it becomes a lot less rentable. Yeah. The other thing I want to touch on really quick is this. I've talked a lot recently about the elective residency visa, the ERV. That's the passive income. If it's over 40K, more or less a year, 40,000 euros, 35, 40, depending on how many people you are. 
uh, you can come and live in Italy and get a residency visa, get your permiso de soggiorno, which we have our meeting in just a couple days now, which yeah. is like getting your residency card. It's your green card. If you were in the U.S., it allows us to get medical services, et cetera. If you don't really think that you're going to want to stay in Italy more than 182 days out of the year, there's absolutely no reason to get the elective residency visa. It's not hard to get, but you're going to have to file two federal tax returns, one here, one in your home country. I think that it complicates things a lot once you get it. Now, if you're going to stay here more than 182 days a year, which we are, mainly because we have dogs is the main reason we're doing it. We can't just come here for three months, go home for three months because we can't fly with our dogs. They're too big. So uh, we, we had to get the ERV just for our dogs. We're good dog people. Uh, <laughs> but you may not necessarily have to do it. So I just wanted to say, yes, it's not super difficult to get as long as you qualify, as long as you're not a criminal. However, look into it, really think about your situation. I didn't want to make it seem like it's something you should just go do. Think about if you need to do it, and if you need to do it, you can get it done relatively easily. If you don't need to do it, you might be much better off just not doing it and going and staying in Montenegro or some other place that you can go to for three months, come back here for three months and not have to pay taxes in any of these other places. So let's get back to the video. I hope that was helpful. I think so. Hey guys, welcome back to the video. You know, it's nice to have a hallway this wide. I'm guessing this is about six feet wide, about 1.8 meters. So pretty good size hallway. Another one. Gosh, they let anybody in here. Look, everybody, it's Valerio. Hello, everybody. He's been hiding away. Valerio, could you open the window? Everyone said they wanted to see outside. Another good size uh, bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse the click. I'm extending you guys outside. So there's one way down the street and the other way. And it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Still another room, right? Yes. I think that be the main room. Like the master? Yes. Right. Because it's bigger. You know, and so far they've all been really good size. Oh, yeah. I want to take a quick break here from the tour. I made this schematic and I've had a couple days now since I actually did the tour to think about what changes might I do in this apartment. So let's take a look. One idea I had was to maybe take bedroom three and convert it into two full baths and maybe some closet that would service the master bedroom and bedroom number two. So roughly that would look something like this in close up. I'm not sure of the structural aspects of the building if this could actually be done, but I'm pretty sure it's clear span and you probably could do it. The other question of course is price. The other thing I was thinking is you could maybe take out the full bath that's closest to the living room, remove the walls on either side of it, and open all that up towards the living room. Now, I think that's probably pretty easy to do, assuming there's no structural issues, because you're not adding water and you're not adding wastewater removal, which is always a pain. You're just taking it away, capping it, taking down some walls. I think it'd be awesome, and it looks something like this. Unfortunately, you couldn't expand the kitchen and open that area up unless you do add the other bathrooms where that one bedroom is now, because otherwise you're taking the whole apartment down to one small full bath and one half bath. My subscribers always have the best ideas. What would you guys do? Go ahead and write in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know if you like going over stuff like this in the videos too. My goal for 2024 is to have really interesting videos for you guys. Frescoes aren't perfect on the wall. 
but there's enough of it that it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would do this one, the main bedroom, because it's a bathroom as well. Mm -hmm. So it was just me. And let's face it, it is. So we'll go into the secondary bathroom. Again, glass enclosure, update all that. Windows fine. You'd have to decide if you want to redo the pedestal sink. I mean, the fixtures are not new. Your choice. You buy it, you do whatever you want. You ready to go see the kitchen? No, oh, we have another thing in here. What's in here? I don't know that one. Yeah. I think they meant to repaint in here and they just never got to it. Cute little cat though. So again, pretty old fixtures, but for $1,500, even less, you could have that whole bathroom tidied up really nice. Yeah. Now, the kitchen, to, it, <laughs> okay, let's just go in. I don't care who you are. You're doing a kitchen remodel. Yes. <laughs> now, the people that live here are minimalist, and they thought cooking on the camp stove is good, and that's fine. Uh, this would be a new kitchen in yeah. my book. Yeah. A decent stove, nice yeah. sink. I mean, it just needs to be updated. Not a huge room. But you could definitely put in counters and cabinets and oh, stuff. Yeah. Can you pop out and we can go out and see the... Now, this is a private courtyard that comes with the apartment. And nice for like a little chair, especially if you were like a smoker. Yeah. Get out of the house. It's just a light well. But you're the only one with access to it. People can see into it, but this is the only access. You can put a nice table here and have dinner out. Yeah. Yeah, you could. And you could throw a lot of plants. I mean, you could make this pretty nice. Yeah. I'd throw a lot of plants out here, enough light to keep them going. Like you say, a nice little table for six people. Yeah. Dining al fresco. Okay, guys. So let's talk about how much Brad thinks it's going to cost to redo this. This isn't a large kitchen. This is about three plus meters here. You could have all new cabinets and a cooktop, a little oven. Yes. For about 5000 for really good quality stuff, more or less. Depends how much cabinetry and, and what you want to put in here. I would probably, just off the top of my head, I like to keep things open. I would put in some sort of like a little uh, bar top breakfast oh, table yeah. up against the wall with just a couple bar chairs because I like just having my coffee. I'd lose this. Um, maybe a little cooktop island. Maybe a little, not a cooktop island, just a little island to cook on. Yeah. Uh, so you have a little more space. I think for no more than 10,000 euros, you could make this kitchen spectacular. And that's including the appliances. New, I think so. Yeah. I, I mean, there's not much to do other than buying the kitchen and the, and, the, and the cooktop. And here, everything comes with the cooktop and the stove and the, and the, uh, the <laughs> oven, the refrigerator. Everything is included, uh, kind of built in. So mm -hmm. that would be nice. These pipes and things, I think you just have to incorporate it. 
it, it's going to have to stay like it is. It would be a huge job to try to put those into the wall. I wouldn't bother. Now, one thing that you might do, some of the electrical is exposed, and you might want to unexpose <laughs> to put into the wall. I'll just give you an example over here. You might, or you might not, want to rerun this. You can just channel into the wall, embed it, and then refinish the wall, and you're not going to be messing up any of the frescoes that are on the wall. Again, all this has to really stay. I personally would redo the floor. I think you could redo the floor in this whole apartment if you wanted to. It's your apartment. You're going to do what you want. If you wanted to, the whole apartment would cost about 12 to 18,000 euros. Depends what you want to put down. And that's putting down something really nice. I don't mean come in with some uh, click clack from IKEA. <laughs> You know, and I think all this exposed wiring up here, I think it's fine. Yeah. Even in the Burati, in our biggest, biggest, most opulent apartment, we have exposed wiring like that. That's it, guys. So, how much do you think it is? The asking price on this is 600,000 euros. Which, by inside the city walls of Lucca, whether you want to believe it or not, for something that's instantly habitable, is priced pretty well because things are so expensive now. I know. Gosh. Yeah, it's a pretty nice apartment. And you know why it's expensive? Because even last night, and we're here, this is what, January 13th? Yeah. A Saturday in January, and the city's packed. Even our little hotel room was 122 euros last night. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. If you have any questions for me, you can now get on my new website, bradsworld.it, as in Italy. And there's a contact form, and you can contact me with a simple question, or you can ask for help on looking at a property or doing a property inspection for you. If you can't get there, I can be your eyes and ears here in Italy. Whatever you need, always happy to answer a question. No charge. If you happen to be in Southern Tuscany, you can go to TuscanPalace.com. This is our advertising. And stay at one of our nice luxury rentals. Hey, we got to buy the gas to come get these videos done. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, we hope to see you there. We always enjoy meeting people. We met over two dozen people last year. Six, six people in one week came to Montefulciano. We had wine and dinner with all of them. And uh, by the end of the week, we were stuffed. So on behalf of Valerio Marconi, our agent and friend here who got us in to see this property and Olivia and I, thanks for watching. Thank you. We'll see you soon. And we'll see you guys soon. Take care.